A T-loop can be easily bent using a tweed loop bending plier. The width of the beaks are used to measure the various legs of the loop. After marking the wire intraorally for the placement of the loop, the first bend, made at 90 degrees, is bent around the square side of the plier. The second bend is made the thickness of the square end of the plier and is also made at 90 degrees back towards the original length of the wire. The third bend is made the width of the square end again, but this time a 30 degree bend is made. The plier is flipped over to engage the round beak of the plier at the point of the 30 degree bend. The wire is bent around the round beak back in the opposite direction. The next bend is made the width of the square beak past the first vertical leg plus adding some for the width of the wire that will make up the second vertical leg. Again, a 30 degree bend is made with a wire bent around the round beak back to its original direction. The second vertical leg is bent around the square end of the plier back to the occlusal plane. The final bend can be made with a tweed plier with a square end, but I usually prefer using a light wire plier to have more control of the final step. The wire must exit the loop at the same plane as the original.